Fanny Willis looks unbelievably compromised. It looks like she's admitted her relationships with Nathan Wade, whose, uh, whose uh, credentials are weak to be a lead prosecutor yeah. on a former president of the United States. They're going to be questioning today a lot of his expenses that he was paid and were they used to go on vacation together. Look at some of this stuff. You probably can't see it there. $800 for a Napa Valley, Napa Valley yeah. Hotel, 3000 for a Royal Caribbean vacation, plus to that Norwegian cruise, on and on and on, 100 flowers, all these bills are they related to the money he's getting because of the job she gave him and what does it mean for the case yes yeah, she used taxpayer dollars to, to help nathan wade who spent it in all kinds of ways but he also used that money to go after president trump for goodness sake so yeah that i think she's compromised and back up a second she charged president trump and 18 other people and was looking to charge three united states senators she put this out including the top republican on the senate judiciary committee and now we find out and we're talking to this individual now we find out there's a whistleblower in the fulton county da's office who says that fanny willis also missed spent federal funds. Wow. That's why we've subpoenaed Ms. Willis for information related to that and other issues. We want to know what's going on here, but she sure looks like she's been compromising this entire ridiculous effort that she undertook several months ago. I just hope they blow up the case because uh, she has no credibility and she led the charge and it seems to be all about politics. Now, yep. I want to talk about this. We know all about the Robert Hur report, and they spent all this time going after Robert Hur over the weekend. He's got a problem. Now he's a Republican hack. Remember when Joe Biden said this about one of the questions, and he got wrong. Watch. There's even reference that I don't remember when my son died. How in the hell dare he raise that? Frankly, when I was asked the question, I thought to myself, it wasn't any of their damn business. Oh, well, he's got it wrong again. He wasn't asked the question. He right. brought up his son. Your reaction? I think it underscores the point Robert Hur made. I mean, I think Robert Hur laid out that Joe Biden intentionally, willfully misplaced, misused, didn't didn't handle classified information in the way you're supposed to under our law. He made that clear. But then he also made clear, I think, what Joe Biden just just demonstrated, that this guy would appear in front of a jury as someone who's, you know, an older individual who doesn't have uh, has problems with his memory. So I think Robert Hur just laid out the truth, laid out the facts. We're going to have him in front of our committee here sometime soon. We'll be able to ask ask all kinds of questions and let him elaborate on the 300 page report that he put out last week. Right. Real quick. Are we going to get the tapes of this conversation? We've subpoenaed that. I think it's uh, again, this this exchange you just played with uh, with President Biden, I think, underscores why we have asked for the tapes and all the information about how that investigation was done. Fox News alert now. We've been following this story throughout well, actually the last 20 hours. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan heading to Capitol Hill, briefing top lawmakers on a national security threat from Russia. As reports say, Russia is looking to explore nuclear weapons in space. That would be a problem. Judiciary Chairman Jim Jordan says he'll be reviewing it and joins us now. Hey, Jeremy, yeah, great. great to see you. What, why are we learning about this now? Well, I don't know. I, 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 uh, Chairman Turner brought this forward yesterday. It's obviously something that I think we need to view as a, in a serious matter. I guess my first thought was, you know, that, thank goodness President Trump started Space Force. When you when you hear about what they're talking, Jake Sullivan is going to brief not me today, but he'll be briefing the, uh, you know, the top people on the Intel Committee and, and what's called the Gang of Eight, the leaders in both the House and Senate. Uh, so I think they'll know more today after that uh, that briefing. But um, you know, serious issue. Uh, but yesterday, primarily, as I, uh, you know, I, I spent most of the day yesterday trying to trying to figure out this FISA law, which is up for reauthorization, and particularly the protections Americans need when the government, the United States government, the federal government is going to be looking at their data. We think you have to have a warrant before you do that. And so we're fighting to make sure that gets done over the next several weeks as part of this FISA reauthorization. Right. And then we got to make sure those judges are not sold out. And it's a real process. That's part of the key. So if it's not in there, you're not going to be for advisor renewal important no no because gotcha. I mean this I mean Brian think this is this is the FBI that spied on the presidential campaign this is the FBI that censored Americans this is the FBI that said pro-life Catholics were extremists and we're going to let them police themselves no you got to have a, the way our system works is there are separate and equal branches of government and you can't just have the executive branch police themselves you have to go to another branch of government the judicial branch to get a probable cause warrant that happens all the time every single day in this country mm -hmm. that is a standard we've had around since the place started so let's make sure that same standard exists particularly when we know that the FBI abused this process 278,000 times. They didn't follow their rules, improperly queried this database. So that is a huge issue that has to be in the bill or we should not reauthorize FISA. 